because now we don't have to continue talking about what I was raising. Now we can make this whole discussion about, you know, how much I must hate somebody and, you know, what is it? Who hurt you and what my past must be? But we now we're deflecting from the subject on the table, which could have been anything. Right. But now we're not talking about that. And that's the point. I think I think I forgot to ask you this in our last talk. Have you ever with 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 advocating for black men and boys and asking some of the questions you ask, have you ever been accused? Uh, I'm going to say the word. Have you ever been accused of misogyny uh, <laughs> since you started this work? And how, <laughs> you're laughing, you're laughing. But when somebody when somebody hurls that at you and you're not used to it, oh. you're like, <gasps> Um, so have you ever been uh, uh, accused of that? And uh, how do you how do you respond when someone throws that your way? Well, I discovered a, a while ago that that's become almost meaningless. I mean, essentially, at this point, especially in social media, you know, when someone calls you a misogynist, usually I thought it used to mean that you have a hatred for women that they have verified and they're, you know. But what I found was it, it usually means you're saying something that they're either uncomfortable with or they don't like the fact that you're saying it, right? It's become a blanket term that has very little meaning these days. But I have heard that. And nine times out of 10, when I ask them, I say, OK, what exactly did I say that suggests that I'm a misogynist? Usually there's silence. Right. And if you push, which I tend to do sometimes, um, you know, OK, well, you know, you made this statement. So where are you getting it from? Well, I don't like the titles of your videos. Okay. That's it. That's what made me. Okay. Well, or, or, and this is what I get the most. Well, I don't like what some of the guys in the comment section section say. Okay. But what did I say? What argument did I put forth that puts me in this position of hating women? I'm documenting what's going on with black men. I'm documenting what's happening to black men in relationships with the in individuals and institutions. Tell me what exactly, what argument did I put forth that suggests that I hate women? Well, you're critical of women. Yeah, I'm critical of institutions, cultural practices, individuals. Yes, I am critical of women, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. What exactly makes that misogyny, though? Well, you, well you just say things that I don't like. Okay, that's, you know, so the, 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 that tends to be the nature of the discussions I've had with people that have done that. And, you know, after a while, you're just like, all right, whatever. You know, I, I I can only take that so seriously, you know, but to me, it, it really gets to the crux of what are the arguments on the table? How do these arguments and issues that we're bringing up actually affect people in real life? And if you're not having that level of dialogue, I tend to check out. But, yeah, I've heard it. And it's those kind of, you know, they're, they're superficial attacks that have less to do with the arguments that we're creating and more to do with distracting and deflecting from the discussion and shaming as a way of trying to get people to stop saying what you don't like to hear. That's where I, you know, that's my experience with that. Yeah. So silencing, yeah. silencing you, silencing the yeah. other person. Cause now we don't have to continue talking about what I was raising. Now we can make this whole discussion about, you know, how much I must hate somebody and you know, what is it who hurt you and what my past must be. But we now we're deflecting from the subject on the table, which could have been anything. Right. But, now we're not talking about that. And that's the point. Now we're not talking about what the discussion initially was. And we're going on this strange diatribe about, you know, what my motivations must be as a deflective measure. And I find that to be the case sometimes, too. Okay.